So, quickly about me. Um, so, like I said, uh, I'm Celine. I'm based in Paris, in France. I've been a photographer for more than 10 years. Uh, I'm shooting mainly, I've been shooting weddings, a lot of destination weddings, elopements. Um, and for the past few years, I've been specialized as well in portraits. Um, I've been shooting with film um, and digital. And my um, favorite film stock was Fuji 400H, for those who know it. Um, but Fuji has uh, discontinued the production of it. So that's when I started to try to find a uh, a way to edit my photos so that it will look like my favorite film stock. Um, I shoot around 15 to 20 weddings a year, but like I said, I'm um, slowly cutting down on weddings and shooting more portraits. And you're going to see how this um, AI tool works as well for portraits. I work with uh, a team. Uh, usually I have a second shooter with me on weddings and you're going to see how um, this AI tool is also really helpful when you have a team so that you have like um, a final results that is very uh, homogeneous throughout um, your photos, whether it's your photos or your second shooter's photos. Um, so this tool is for you if of course, you're a photographer, and if you're using Lightroom uh, to edit your photos. So for now, Neurapix uh, AI tool only works with Lightroom. Um, it's uh, a tool that is going to help you to fast track your editing time. Um, for me, you're going to see it's it cut down my editing process by 80%, which is a lot. Um, so if you're a photographer who edits a lot of pictures, this is going to help you a lot. Um, also, we know how, you know, if you're a wedding photographer or have uh, specific seasons, you always have like a peak season and a lot of stress to, you know, uh, deliver your photos on time to your clients and things like that. So this AI tool is going to really help you to reduce this stress, this mental load that you have to, um, you know, have to to respect the deadline of your turnaround time to deliver your clients. So we're going to see how this is going to be helpful for you. Um, so you might be wondering what's a smart preset and how it works. So like I said, a preset, if you use one, um, it's just a, like a filter that it's applied on each image of your gallery. And then you still have to adjust every slider's every slider individually. Uh, a smart preset is a preset that is smart <laughs> and is based on your preferences. So basically you're gonna take a sample of 20 to 500 images. You're gonna edit them the way you want and then you're gonna send them to the server, uh, Neurapix server and tell them, this is how I edit my photos. And from there, it's gonna, it's gonna create a smart preset and um, it's going to understand like specifically how you want your shadows, how you want your highlights, how you want your um, uh, color tone. Do you want it warm? Do you want it cold? Um, your brightness, etc. And when it's done, you just have to click on Smart Preset in your Lightroom. I'll show you with the live demo. And it's going to apply the Smart Preset on all your photos, meaning that all the sliders will be automatically adjusted on every single pictures. You won't have to do it manually. Well, of course, it's not 100% done. Usually it's 90 to 95% of the work done. And then you will like check uh, a few photos to see if, um, if the AI um, has done it right or if you want to adjust a little bit of the brightness of shadows, but usually it's 90% of the work done. So I have created three galleries to show you and compare how it works with the my own preset, the smart preset, and the difference between the two. So right now in the in this gallery, they are all rows. So I mixed a few different types of lighting. You can see there's like bike light, um, some 
pictures that are um, indoors, outdoors, um, underexposed, overexposed. Um, night light, you know, reception, which is all, always a headache to edit. Um, here you have some editorial that I've done indoors. This is outdoor as well. Um, this is also reception with, you know, this type of light that is always a hassle to edit. And a few studio portraits so that you can see how the smart preset can work on all type of photos. So here is the full um, gallery of rows in uh, red color. This is yellow with my own preset, and this is gonna be the smart preset. So right now they're all not, they're unedited, all of them. If I were to edit my style, I will have to adjust the exposure here, um, shadows, warm temperature, a bit more red. It would be like that. So yeah, you saw, um, you saw this one is my own preset, but I still have to adjust all the sliders here. So I'm just gonna reset it so that we can see. So this is just like the preset without adjusting the sliders so that we can compare with the smart preset. And those are the same images, rows, but I'm gonna edit it with the smart preset. So the way you do it is really easy. I'll show you. You're just gonna select all your photos in the library. You don't even have to go to develop module. So I'm gonna select all my photos here and I'm gonna go to library and plugin extras. So basically Neuraptics is just a plugin that you're gonna import into your Lightroom and everything is gonna happen in your Lightroom. So that's the great thing about Neuraptics because I know that there, there are other AI tools but you still have to export your catalog and then import it again. And, you know, so it's a little bit of a hassle here. It's everything in your Lightroom. So I have selected all the photos that I want to edit. I go plugin extras and I'm going to, I'm going to click on edit photos here. Um, you're just going to name your project um, test webinar. Um, so that you can find it um, easily because it's going to be stored in the server if you lost your data or if you go for the paper image uh, package, I'll explain later. Um, this is the smart preset. Um, this is my own smart preset that you can uh, find on the Neurapix store, but you also have like free um, smart preset that Neurapix has uh, developed. So I'm going to use mine. And you can, you can also have these optional features, uh, which are either rotate images, like it's gonna straighten your images, which is great. Or you can also have crop and rotate images. So usually I use rotate images because I like to crop mine the way I, I, I like. But if you wanna go fast, you can do crop and rotate. So I'm just gonna do rotate images and I'm gonna start editing. So here, you see editing 109 photos with Neuraptics. So I invite you to check your time right now and see how long it's gonna take to edit the, those 109 photos. And you're gonna see here, it's gonna appear gradually on each pictures, um, the edited version of it. So usually it takes about 60 seconds. So you can see right now, it's like appearing, so popping in. Let me know if you can see. Yeah, so you see how fast it goes. We're already at half of the um, gallery. So it's gonna edit every single pictures with the adjustment of the sliders, with the brightness, the shadows, and it's gonna understand if it's overexposed or underexposed by the way you have told the AI uh, your preferences for um, your photos. So you see this one was underexposed. Now it's great. Um, gonna see this it's slowly coming in. See, these ones are the reception ones. They are usually the hardest for me to edit 
when I have to adjust manually every single sliders uh, on the reception uh, pictures. And you're gonna see them appear here. You see the light, how great it is? It's amazing, I love it. <laughs> um, these are the editorial ones. Outdoors in Paris. See? These reception are gonna change as well. It's coming in slowly. Okay, we're almost done here. You see it changed. These are the portraits in my studio. And the smart preset is understanding the way I want it. I want them to be. So this one is overexposed. You're gonna see it's gonna change. So yeah, so now we're done. I think it took about two minutes. I don't know if you checked your time guys, how, how much time it took for you. Right, so as you can see right now, like all the photos are edited and I'm gonna compare it to, um, like I said, the my own preset. So let's start with this one. So you can see the red color is the raw pictures. Um, the yellow one is my own preset without the sliders adjusted. And this one is the smart preset. So let's just compare this first one. As you can see, um, my own preset, uh, I still had to adjust it, like all the sliders to have this final result, right? Um, for instance, this one, which is backlight, um, Hard, harsh highlights and harsh shadows. This is my own preset, which is not too bad. Um, and this is the smart preset. Uh, it's slightly, you see, more um, homogeneous in terms of lighting. It's also straightened all the lines. Um, for instance, this one, which is indoor and the walls were red <laughs> and orange. So, the groom was quite like orangey with my own preset. And see the smart preset understood that it was slightly too orange, slightly too underexposed, and it adjusted everything perfectly. So like I said, it's 90% of the work done. It's not like perfect, perfect, but still it's like pretty good. So this is raw here on the left. This is my own preset, which is not too bad because it's the preset that I created. <laughs> and this is the smart preset. And like you, you can see it, it has straightened as well the lines here because I asked for the rotate image option. Um, so yeah, let's see the, this one. It's more even more obvious. Um, this one is the raw image. This one is my own preset. And this one is the smart preset. So you can see with my own preset, I will still have to adjust like all the sliders um, individually here. I would have to go here and here. Well, you get the, you get the gist, right? So yeah, this is the, the work that the smart preset is doing. Let's have a look at the reception because I think this is also a great um, example. So on the left is the row, here is my own preset, and this is the smart preset. So as you can see, it has adjusted the light, the temperature, the shadows, everything. So it's still slightly a bit cold to me for this um, image. So I would adjust it slightly here, but still it's not like a lot of adjustment for the final image. Um, same here, you see the row, my preset, and this is the smart preset. So this is the editorial, for instance, here. This is the row, this is my own preset, and this is the smart preset. So this, you can see the shadows are a little bit too dark 
for my preferences and the smart preset has understand it and it's adjusted accordingly and you can see as well the lines are straight in here it's a little bit crooked so as you can see it's pretty 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 good this is portraits for those who shoot portraits families or newborn or whatever you should um, in studio uh, this is row this is my uh, preset and on the right it's the smart preset still this one for uh, studio work uh, this is row this is my preset and this is the smart preset so yeah um, so you have uh, two different types of uh, packages with Narapix you can use a monthly rate um, either you pay annually which is like about uh, 50 euros a month or you pay monthly if you want, it's, it's about 80 uh, euros per month. Um, if you are someone who shoots a lot, like if you're wedding uh, photographers and you have to edit, I don't know, a hundred, um, a thousand, sorry, uh, photos per wedding. So this is totally worth it because like you, you've you seen um, before, um, we spend about 10 hours manually editing our weddings and it's, it cost us 500 euros um, if you estimate your hour, hour, hour only rate, sorry. Um, and the other um, package is paper image. So this is for people who don't um, specifically shoot a lot or have like um, seasons that are not regular. Uh, you just pay per image and it's only three cents per image. So it's very, very uh, affordable. I find, um, and everything is happening in your Lightroom. Uh, if you pay for the monthly package, um, it's uh, on your locally on your computer. And if you pay per image, um, it's still in your Lightroom, but it will send it will it will send your uh, pictures to the server on Narapix. It will edit there. And then you're going to receive an email, um, but it's going to take about five minutes, not even that. Um, you're going to receive an email saying your pictures are ready and you can uh, upload them back uh, in your Lightroom, still with the plugin um, process like that that I showed you.